Let's pray. Our dear God and Heavenly Father, we thank you, Panginoon, for this wonderful night that you have set before us. Thank you for the means of technology na pinapagamit niyo po sa amin at inahayaan ninyo na ma-enjoy namin. This TikTok Live, Father, that um, na, na hinayaan mo makreate, Panginoon. And Lord, use it for your glory, Panginoon. And as a, as a preacher word, Father, Uh, patuloy na ikaw ang siyang makita, hindi nga aking mga, mga kamalian, hindi aking mga lapses, Panginoon, but rather, uh, ang salita mo ay patuloy na mamutawi sa aming uh, mga bibig, Panginoon, at uh, bawat uh, salita ng iyong lingkod o Diyos, ang salita mo lamang ang siyang aking sasabihin, hindi po ito galing sa akin, Panginoon, kundi galing po ito sa inyo at sa inyong napakagandang salita. Salamat, Panginoon, for your uh, wonderful, wonderful word, that you have given us your love letter to us father and thank you lord sa pag-uusapan po namin ngayon at sa mga uh, things na aming uh, pag-uusapan at uh, mapagkikwentuhan panginoon naway ikaw ang maluwalhati sa aming lahat ng gagawin sa aming kalagitnaan thank you father forgive us our sins cover us with the holy blood of our lord jesus christ give us knowledge give us wisdom in everything that uh, we will do tonight And Holy Spirit, continue to illuminate us through, uh, through your word. Maraming salamat po, Panginoon. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Okay. So, ayan. Uh, salamat po sa inyong lahat. And, okay. So, I hope you have your Bibles with you. So, could you please uh, go ahead and open your Bibles to the book of 2 Corinthians. To the book of 2 Corinthians, chapter 4, verse 18. Okay. 2 Corinthians, chapter 4, verse 18. Sabi po dito, uh, in 2 Corinthians, chapter 4, verse 18, So we fix our eyes not on what is seen, but on what is unseen. Since what is seen is temporary, but what is unseen is eternal. Ulitin ko po. Now, this is a very, very good verse for us, mga kapatid. So, we fix our eyes not on what is seen, but on what is unseen. Since what is seen is temporary, but what is unseen is eternal. Okay? Ang Diyos po ang mapapurihan sa pagkabasa ng kanyang banal na salita. So, what we're gonna talk about right now, kung, kung naaalala nyo po kagabi, ang pinag-usapan po natin ay tungkol sa pananampalataya. Okay? So, ba diba, napag-aralan natin kagabi that um, yung pananampalataya, it's not just trusting, but it's a 10 times, it, you have to expand trust in a 10 times na definition niya. So, that's faith. That's faith, mga kapatid. So, right now, what we're gonna talk about is a life of faith. Ngayon, yung natutunan natin na faith will be having to, uh, we will be needing to apply it in our life. So, ngayon po, ito yung pag-uusapan natin. In, uh, in this, uh, the, the title of this is a life of faith. So, ano po yun? So, sabi po kanina sa 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 18, I, uh, we fix our eyes daw po sa mga bag sa hindi sa mga bagay na nakikita kundi sa mga bagay na hindi nakikita at dahil yung mga nakikita daw po natin ay mga temporary lang na bagay pero yung mga na hindi natin nakikita ay yun daw po yung mga eternal na bagay so uh, ano po yung gustong iparating ni apostol Pablo nung sinulat niya po ito sa mga taga Corinto Tandaan niyo po, ang Corinthian, uh, ang Corinthian Church is a, a church which is um, medyo, nag, medyo may problema talaga si, si Pablo dito. Kasi yung Corinthian Church is ano, uh, parang uh, makasalanan. <laughs> diba? Parang ganun yung, ano, yung problema niya, full of division. If you would read 1st and 2nd Corinthians, daging pinapaalala ni Apostle Paul, diba? abstain from this, abstain from this. Ito, iset nyo, ayos nyo rito. Ito, gawin ninyo. So, kung may kita, may kita nyo yun sa, sa 1st and 2nd Corinthians. So, ganun yung sinasabi ni Apostle Paul doon. So, ngayon, uh, isa to sa mga sinabi niya sa mga taga-Korinto, which, which could be implied to us also when it comes to our faith. So, ano po yun? Uh, una, kung gusto, una pong punto na gusto ko pong malaman ninyo, if you have your pen and your ball pen, you can write this down. So, sabi po doon, 
Uh, sabi po dito, a follower of Jesus Christ fixes his eyes on the things above. Fixes. Uh, okay po, una po, una. Unang puntos po. A follower of Jesus Christ fixes his eyes on the things above. Fixes his eyes on the things above. So, bakit po fixes his eyes on the things above? Kasi po, uh, ang meaning po ng above dito is hindi po sa langit. No? Hindi po kayo laging nakatingin doon. So, hindi po ganun yung application nito. Okay? So, meaning to say po na kung na, yung, yung gaze po natin, yung, yung, yung mindset natin is nakatuon sa mga bagay na paparating pa lang. So, ano po yun? Ito yung mga eternal things. Ito yung mga things na hindi pa natin nakikita. Okay? So, I want you to go to the book of Colossians. Book of, book of Colossians, mga kapatid. Book of Colossians, chapter 3. <laughs> chapter 3. Okay? And then, uh, Colossians chapter 3, verse 2. Colossians chapter 3, verse 2. Sabi po dito sa Colossians chapter 3, verse 2, Set your minds on things that are above, not on things that are on earth. So, may kita po natin in the light of 2 Corinthians chapter 4 verse 18 na binasa po natin ngayon, uh, kanin-kanin lang. May kita po natin dito na sinasabi rin po sa sinasabi rin po ni, Pe, uh, ni Paul sa mga tao sa daga, ta, sa Colossae o sa Church of Colossians na sabi niya doon, set your minds on things that are above and not on things that are on earth. Bakit po? Kasi nga po, ito in the context of this or in in application with this verse Kasi nga po, yung mga bagay na nandito sa lupa ay temporary lang po. Yung bahay po natin, it's gonna be temporary, di ba? Yung uh, the things that we have, your your phone, two years, three years from now, you'll never know what will happen with it. Yung yung internet, di ba? Kanina sabi ni Jess, uh, makita natin na sabi niya, di ba, nawalan sila ng wifi. So, that, that kind of things, uh, all, of this, all of those things are temporary. Yung set, yung... yung ano of course us even us is just temporary temporary lang tayo dito sa lupa but then afterwards ano mangyayari we will be meeting our savior in heaven okay so lahat po ng nakikita nating bagay dito sa earth and the things that are that can be seen are temporary even the sun di ba hindi natin na, uh, binibigyan tayo ng mga scientists na ilang ano millions of years na lang siya so meaning to say it, it It is not infinite. Meron pa rin siyang hangganan. Even even the earth. But even ano, even uh, of course makikita natin 'yan sa sa mga gadgets natin, 'di ba? Sa mga bahay natin, sa mga things na kung mga ginagamit natin, everything in this world, mga kapatid, is temporary. Eventually everything in this world will come to an end. Parang relasyon niyo lang 'yan. Hindi 'yan magtatagal, hindi joke lang. <laughs> Joke lang. So, um, sana magtagal, pero... <laughs> di po. So, everything in this world is just gonna be temporary. Okay po. Kaya po sinasabi po dito ni Apostle Paul na set your things on. Uh, set your eyes on things that are above, which is yung heavenly things. Okay? Kung nasaan ang Diyos, ang trono ng Diyos. Bakit po? Kasi po, yung kung nasaan ang trono ng Diyos, lahat po doon is gonna be eternal. Okay po? So, again, yung unang puntos po dito is a follower of Jesus Christ fixes its eyes on the things above. In, uh, binasa po natin yung Colossians chapter 3, verse 2 kanina. And then, a follower of Christ lives for the life to come. Ayun. So, a follower of Christ lives for the life to come. So, ibig sabihin po na ang tagasunod daw po ni Kristo, ang may ang tao na may faith sa kanya, may faith sa Panginoong Heso Kristo ay namumuhay daw po sa kalok, kasalukuyan na tinitignan yung future, yung eternal life. It's okay to live in the moment, mga kapatid. It's okay to to enjoy and savor the moment, di ba? It's okay to to take pictures to to hindi po tayo KJ ng mga tao na uh, hindi kasi dapat spiritual ka no okay sorry po naggalaw so no dapat it's not gonna be the case okay hindi po ganun yung kaso mga kapatid what i'm saying here is that even though we are living in the present we should always look to the future to the future things that will happen kaya nga di ba tayo mga tao pinaplano natin 
uh, ahead of time kung ano yung gagawin natin for this uh, this week or the next month. Di ba? Ano yung mga gagawin natin? So, kailangan, uh, ano yun, eh, inaayos natin. But then, al- in- pinaplano natin yung buhay natin dito sa lupa. Paano na lang po yung buhay na sa darating? Uh, so, ano po yung sinasabi kong buhay na darating? If you if you believe in, in the afterlife, then definitely, kailangan mong paghandaan yun. And it is only fitting for us to say that it is very logical for us to believe that there is an afterlife. So, meaning to say po, hindi lang tayo living in the moment. Ah, kasi pandemic, so dito muna ako. No, it's okay to to, to sit around, to, you know, to, to relax. But then, kailangan iset mo yung mind mo, yung goal mo. Eh, ito, ito yung, ito yung eternal life. So, dapat doon ka nakatoon. While you are walking in this world, papunta doon sa eternal life na yun. Okay? So, ano pa, ano pa, ano pa yung may kita natin dito sa pagka sinabi na a follower of Jesus Christ fixes his eyes on the things above. So, makikita natin dito din na sinabi ni Peter, di ba, sa 1 Peter chapter 1 verse 16, di ba? Ano pong sabi doon? Be holy for I am holy. When you are when you fix your things that that is on, uh, that are on above, of course, you got your eyes on Jesus Christ. Diba? So, you have to be convicted of being holy. You have to be convicted. Okay? A true follower of Jesus Christ is convicted to live in holiness. Hindi po pwedeng tawagin ang isang kristyano na kristyano if you are not living in the ho- in holiness or even just striving for it, mga kapatid. Kailangan each and every day of our lives, nag strive tayo for holiness kailangan yun. Sinong kanina nanood ng live ni Pastor Carl? Hindi po ako. Yung isa, si Tokayo. Si Pastor Carl Pasquad. Diba? Kanina, he, he talks about holiness. So, uh, nanood ako pero saglit lang kasi may klase po ako sa Bible school eh. So, he, he, talk about, uh, he talks about holiness kanina din. So, being convicted, dapat being followers of Jesus Christ, we are convicted. Pag sinabi natin convicted, we are convinced to live a holy life. Hindi po option sa isang kristyano na mamuhay, ng, mamuhay sa kabanalan. Hindi po, hindi po yun option lang sa atin. It is a must. Okay? We should strive for it. Even though we know that we are not perfect, but then we should strive, we should try to live a holy life each and every day of our life po. And I want you to go back to the book of Colossians chapter 3 verse 5. Book of Colossians chapter 3 verse 5. So sabi po doon, uh, Colossians chapter 3 verse 5, eto po, kapag ka nakaset yung eyes natin, okay, yung minds natin, yung eyes natin on the things that are above, as a true follower of Jesus Christ, we should do this. Colossians chapter 3 verse 5. Put to death, therefore, what is earthly in you. Sexual immorality, impurity, passion, evil desire, and covetousness, which is idolatry. And in verse 6, tuloy natin, On account of this, the wrath of God is coming. Mga kapatid, we have to, we have to realize, mga kapatid, na a faithful, a faithful follower of Jesus Christ, a, a, um, a believer who is living by faith sa ating Panginoong Heso Kristo, okay, is to put to death. Diba po? Is to put to death, therefore, what is earthly in us. Ano po yung earthly sa atin? Yung, ito po yung, ano, yung, yung desires natin. Hindi ko po sinabi na patayin nyo yung sarili ninyo. Okay? That's, hindi po yun yung ibig sabihin ko. But rather, we have to put to death, therefore, what is earthly in us. Okay? The sexual immorality, impurity, evil desire, covetousness, passion, idolatry. So la, yung mga yung mga yung mga yun daw po we should put it to death. Bakit? Kasi nga 'di ba, you you are a Christian. Tayong lahat, 'di ba? Pag Christian ka na, ang unang binabanggit, ah, alam ko yung verse na yan, 2 Corinthians 5 verse 17. Apo, behold, the old has gone and the new has come. Pero po, yung mga Kristiyano minsan baliktad. Behold, 'di ba? The old has come and the new has gone. Ganun yung nagiging pamumuhay. And it is uh, it is not optional for us mga Christian to to be in that way. Bakit po? Kasi po yung premise na being a Christian, uh, being a 2 Corinthians 5:17 Christian 
is not only, okay po, is not only, na pag tinagap mo si Jesus Christ, ano ka na, tag rito, um, y- y- uh, okay ka na, bago ka na. No, hin- yung sanctification po is a lifelong process. Hanggang sa mawala po tayo din sa mundong to, yung sanctification nandyan. Okay po, we will be, we are justified through faith, but then we are sanctified through our lifetime. Ano po yung sanctification? Pagpapakabanal po. Kaya nga sabi ko kanina, di ba? We should be convicted to live in holiness for the Lord Jesus Christ. Kasi po, hindi po pwede tayong tawagin kristyano. Hindi mo pwedeng i-claim yung 2 Corinthians 5.17 unless you put to death sexual immorality, impurity, evil desires, di ba? Covetousness, which is idolatry. Hindi mo pwedeng i-claim yung 2 yung Corinthians 5.17 unless you ought to live a holy life. Kasi po, it's gonna be it's gonna be a desecration of that ano, of that premise. Okay po. So before we claim 2 Corinthians 5:17, okay po. If you have to fix your eyes on the things that is unseen because those things are eternal. Okay? And the second point that I um I want you to see, no, oh, bilis natin, no. I want you to see a faithful follower or a true believer of Jesus Christ conforms, okay? Conforms to the standard of Christ. A faithful follower of Jesus Christ conforms to the standard of Jesus Christ. So, ano po yung sinasabi natin conforms to the standards of Jesus Christ? Remember yung, ano, remember yung Romans to, uh, Romans chapter 12, diba? Do not be conformed to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. So, ngayon, dahil na transform na yung mind, you are a Christian already, you have faith already in Jesus Christ, you accepted Him as your Lord and Savior, Okay? And doon ka na sa moment na yon now, you ought to conform. You have to obey the standard of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hindi po pwede, again, hindi, ulitin ko po, hindi po pwede na tinanggap mo lang si Jesus. Hindi po pwede na tinanggap mo lang si Jesus. Kailangan din po magkoconform tayo sa standard niya. Ano ba yung sinet na standard ng ating Panginoong Heso Kristo? Diba? That we ought to live in holiness. That we ought to live in love for one another. That we ought to suffer for the gospel. Na hindi po lahat ng sa mundong ito, ay, uh, hindi po lahat na matatamasa natin sa mundong ito. Bakit? Because our hope, our hope is on the life to come, not here. Your success, your your money, it will be, it will all be gone. In, in just a blink of an eye, di ba? May mga taong mayayaman, kinabukasan, wala na. Hindi na, nag- hindi na nila nagamit yung kayamanan nila. Hindi na nila natamasa yung mga binild nilang mga, ano, mga, mga empires and everything. So, kailangan ko mag-conform tayo. Pag sinabi ni Jesus Christ, okay, pag sinabi ni Jesus Christ na we should be holy, we should be holy, wala pong ano doon, walang neg- non-negotiable po yun. Pag sinabi ni Jesus Christ that this is a sin, this is a sin, non-negotiable po yun. Pag sinabi ng Jesus pag sinabi ni Jesus Christ na this is this is good, this is um this is what will you will do, this is what you will do. Why? Kasi po again, sinabi ko po, lagi ko sinasabi, di ba? Kaakibat ng pagtanggap natin sa Panginoong Heso Kristo ay kaakibat ng pagyuko natin sa kanya bilang Diyos. And if He is your Master, if He is your Lord, He is your Savior, utang natin yung buhay natin sa Kanya, di ba? we should live life according to Him. Di ba? Parang slaves and master. Let's, let's put it in that way. Parang master and a slave. Di ba? Yung, yung slave, He is obedient to the will of His Master. Parang sa inyo po, sa mga nagtatrabaho, di ba? obedient kayo to the will of your boss. Bakit? Kasi pag sinabi na boss na oh, ganito gawin mo, ganito dapat tapos niyan, dapat yun yung ipa-perform mo. Okay? So, ganun din po sa ating pananampalataya sa Panginoon sa Kristo. Hindi po pwede, uh, hindi po pwede na ano tayo, na uh, in, uh, si Jesus lang naman kailangan ko, hindi ko naman maging, hindi ko naman kailangan mamuhay sa kabanalan. No. <laughs> Niloloko niyo po yung sarili niyo kapag ka ganun. Why? Because true salvation, 
conforms to the standard of Jesus Christ. True salvation conforms to the standards of Jesus Christ. Ulitin ko pa mga kapatid. True salvation conforms to the standard to the standard of Jesus Christ. Yun po yun. Okay? So, ano po ba to? Uh, Kuya Card, kasi I'm conforming naman. Tandaan nyo po, a believer has the assurance of salvation. A believer has assurance of salvation. Bakit? Diba, may mga debate nga, diba, minsan na kung sinasabi, nawawala ba yung ano? Kuya Carl, nawawala ba yung yung salvation? At the first place, hindi po nawawala yun. Kung totoo mong tinanggap yung salvation na yun. Hindi naman po ang problema is, ano, um, ah, diba, sabi natin, ah, tagal niya kasi nag-serve sa Panginoon, almost 12 years, tapos bigla na lang siyang nawala, ayaw niya na. Hindi yung, ang, ang hindi po ang pro, hindi po ang tanong doon is tinanggap niya ba si uh, hindi ang tanong doon is hindi yung ano eh hindi questionable yung ginawa niya sa Panginoon eh hindi po yun yung question doon eh ang question po hindi rin question doon yung yung salvation is it gonna be by works no no ang tanong po doon at the first place before pa siya before pa siya naglingkod sa Panginoon did he really accepted the Lord Jesus Christ sincerely in his heart. Kasi po ako, hindi po ako naniniwala. Okay? Hindi po ako naniniwala na ang isang Kristiyano, by the end of his life, will deny Jesus Christ kung totoo siyang Kristiyano. Kaya ang tanong po doon, at the first place, did you really accepted Jesus Christ? Are you really saved at that moment? Ganun po yung tanong doon. Eh, paano ko kaya kung nanghina? Magkaiba po yun. Ang nanghina sa pananampalataya at nawala sa pananampalataya. Ang nanghina sa pananampalataya po, needs an encouragement. Ni- he needs, uh, kailangan niya ng, ano po, ng, ng tao na kung saan magi encourage sa kanya pabalik sa pananampalataya. Pero ang taong nawalan ng pananampalataya, ang tanong po dun is, at the first place ba, may pananampalataya siya. Kaya nga po sinasabi natin na hindi nawawala ang hindi nawawala ang salvation because Jesus Christ is the holder of our salvation, 'di ba? Sabi doon that uh, no one can pluck you out of my hands. Sabi doon, 'di ba? Romans 8:39. Pin uh, isa po sa mga favorite verses ko. 'Di ba? No death, no uh, no no storm, no calamities, no demons, no sword can ever can ever separate us from the love of God. If ganun yung premise ng Panginoon, Ganun yung promise ng Panginoon that no one can separate us from the love of God. So, it is only fitting for us to say or to ask na at the first place ba, tinanggap talaga natin si Jesus Christ. Ganun po yun. Ganun po yung, yung explanation nun. Kaya hindi nawawala ang salvation in the terms of Jesus Christ is your salvation. Okay? Pero kung pero kung nawaw, sinasabi nila, ah, nawawala kasi yung sal- salvation pag nagkasala ka. So, ibig sabihin, it is gonna be by works. And malaking, ano po, nat, malaking, uh, hindi po nag-umaayon ang Biblia sa ganong mga bagay po. Okay? So, uh, let's go ahead and let's uh, ituloy po natin to. And may tanong, ano kuya, ano yung kuya? Uh, Romans 8. Romans chapter 8. Okay, Romans chapter 8 verse 38 to 39. All right. So tuloy po tayo mga kapatid. So last thing po, last thing that I want you to see in this. A true follower, uh, di ba? Ngayon po, uh, nauna nakita natin that a true follower of Jesus Christ fixes his eyes, his mind, his his gaze, di ba? Upon or on the things above. Ito po yung mga heavenly things. Ito po kung sino si Jesus Christ. Ito po kung saan nakaupo ang ating Panginoon. Bakit? Kasi po, yun po yung eternal. Okay? So, and then pangalawa, a faithful or a true believer in Jesus Christ conforms to His standard. Sinusunod niya kung ano yung standard ng ating Panginoon si Cristo. Kung ano yung sinabi niya sa kanyang word na dapat gawin natin. Okay? Pag sinabi ni Jesus Christ to love the Lord your God with all your soul, with all your might, with all your strength, then definitely we will love God. To, if if God's if Jesus Christ said that to love your neighbors as you as you love yourself then definitely you love them okay at pag sinabi ni Jesus Christ di ba sabi ni Paul uh, which is also we know that an apostle of Jesus Christ of course his words is gonna be treated as the words of Christ also po kaya ngayon 
sabi, sabi niya, di ba? Respect, uh, submit to the authorities, we submit to the authorities. Okay? And we respect for the government, you respect the government, mga kapatid. No matter how hard it is, you respect the government. Okay? So, the last thing, the last thing that um, I want you to see, okay, is a true follower of Jesus. A true follower of Jesus Christ, a true follower of Jesus Christ might get tired but will never give up. Ito yung sinasabi ko. A true follower of Jesus Christ might get tired. Mapapagod siya. He's gonna be physically exhausted but he will never give up. Bakit po? In 2 Corinthians, balik tayo. 2 Corinthians chapter 4 verse 8. Yan. Angat, uh, angat lang tayo. Okay? Verse 8 to 11. 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 8 to 11. Ano pong sabi? We are hard-pressed on every side, but not crushed. Perflex, but not in despair. Persecuted, but not abandoned. Struck down, but not destroyed. Remember this song? Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. <laughs> okay, in verse 10, ano pong sabi? We always carry around in our body the death of Jesus, so that the life of Jesus may also be revealed in our body. For we who are alive are always being given over to death for Jesus' sake, so that His life may also be revealed in our mortal body. It is only fitting for a Christian to suffer when he followed the Lord Jesus Christ. Hindi po kayo naniniwala sa akin. Let's check the scriptures. In the book of 2 Timothy, sinabi po ito ni Paul. Okay, sinabi po ito ni Paul. Oh. Sabi, niya, uh, sabi niya dito in, in, um, in 2 Timothy. Okay, 2 Timothy chapter, uh, chapter 3, verse 12. 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse 12. Indeed, sabi niya kay Timothy, Ito po, si Paul ang nagsusulat pupunta kay Timothy. Sabi niya, Indeed, all who desire to live a godly life in Christ, Jesus will be persecuted. Okay? We will gonna be pressed down. We will be gonna be struck down. We will gonna be abandoned by, by our loved ones sometimes, by, by, by this world. Pero po anong mang, pero po anong ano anong anong ano natin anong promise but we will not be destroyed. A Christian may get an exhausting life. Maghihirap man maghirap man tayo sa buhay because of Jesus Christ. But we will never be destroyed. Okay? Bakit? Sabi po doon, uh, bigyan ko pa kayo ng isa. In the book of Philippians, ito po, this is the truth of the word of God and this is the truth of Christianity. In the book of Philippians, sumusulat po ulit si Paul sa mga taga Philippi. And chapter 1, verse 29. Chapter, 9, verse to, uh, chapter 1, verse 29. Sabi po doon, For it has been granted to you that for the sake of Christ, you should not only believe in Him. Ito po si Paul, sabi niya, believe, You should not only believe in Him, but also suffer for His sake. Sinasabi po dito ni, ni Apostle Paul in the book of Philippians sa mga taga Philippi na, Hindi lang enough na maniwala kayo. Hindi lang enough yung paniniwala. Kasi after believing, kailangan may living. After believing, kailangan may living. Okay? And sabi po doon, for the sake of Christ, you should not only believe in Him, but also suffer for His sake. Paano po yung suffer? Uh, kuya, so lahat tayo mga Kristiyano, magpabaril na lang dyan sa ano. Hindi po. That's, what, that's not what I'm saying. Okay? What I'm saying is, the world would, will hate us, mga kapatid. The world will not understand us. Minsan, kahit na galit na galit ka na, parang, di ba, sabi ni Jesus Christ, forgive, 70 times 7. Parang, and hindi po yun bibilangin nyo na hanggang mag 70 times 7. It only means, it's like a hyperbole na kung saan sinasabi po ng Panginoon na unlimited yung pag-forgive natin. Being a true follower of Jesus Christ is gonna be very, very hard. Living by faith is gonna be very hard. ba We live by faith, not by sight. Yung last point ko po, mga kapatid, this is, this is gonna be a really uh, um, an eye-opener for us that 
a true follower of Jesus Christ might get tired. He will get tired. You will get tired. I will get tired. I will get exhausted one day. Manghihina ako sa pananampalataya one day. Lahat tayo, dadaan sa process na yun. Lahat tayo, one day, mapapagod. And eventually, this this physical body of ours will be gone. But we will never give up, mga kapatid. That, all, that nothing, that even death cannot separate us from the love of our God. Our strength comes from the Lord. Our strength comes from the Lord, mga kapatid. So, if this is a challenge for you and me. Are you willing to live by faith? Are you willing to live by faith? Ito yung, applica- ito yung challenge sa atin ngayong gabi. Are you willing to live by faith? Yung faith na nareceive mo, ulitin ko, are you willing to live it? Kasi nga sabi ko kanina, di ba? After believing, there comes living. Kailangan may pamumuhay. Hindi paniniwala lang. Kailangan isa buhay. Hindi ang ang salita po ng Diyos, ang pagiging kristyano is not just a motivational thing. Hindi lang po ito ano, mga set of guidelines para sa buhay. No. This is the true word of God. Mga no, kapatid, it is powerful, it is alive, it is active, it is living, it is enduring. How would you choose to, to live your y- yung faith natin? So mga kapatid, it is the challenge for us. A challenge for us. Are you going to live by faith? Or settle for temporary things? Eventually, this, this world that we have will fail. The body that you have will fail. Hindi, hindi porkit sobrang fit mo ngayon, tomorrow you're gonna be healthy as you are today. Hindi, hindi porkit buhay ka ngayon, tomorrow you're gonna be still alive. Kaya kuha na kayo ng insurance kay Kuya JC. Hindi, <laughs> joke <laughs> Diba? We plan our, we, we, ito yung napaka-ironic sa atin eh. We plan our daily lives so much. We indulge our, we indulge ourselves. Diba, mabili pa tayo ng mga life coaching books on how to live a holy life. Gumagastos tayo ng tons of money for, for such books. Why waste, di ba mga kapatid? Why waste tons of money for a life coaching book when you can get the word of God for free? When you can get the word of God for free? Why settle for a, for, ano, for, for a, you know, um, something like a, a book for life? When you can read this, you will have life and even eternal life. Di ba po? Why not? Why, why, what, think, just think about it. Just, just think about that, mga kapatid. And how you could apply that on your life. Sobrang gastos natin, di ba? Sobrang saga, saga mo. It's not, there's nothing wrong with it. Yung mga vitamins. I do take vitamins, obviously. Hindi naman po ako magiging ganito kung hindi <laughs> siya ka. <laughs> We do take vitamins, seriously. Of course. Kailangan natin yun. But, wag po kayong mag-indulge lang sa physical body natin, sa to this temporary life that we have. There is far more that is waiting for us after this life. Be ready for that also, mga kapatid. Choose to have faith. Choose to have faith. And boldly, I say this to you, mga kapatid. Choose to be a follower of Jesus. Wala pong mawawala sa inyo. Walang mawawala. Kundi mag- magkakaroon pa kayo. And I hope na uh, all of you guys are getting, um, will be touched by the Holy Spirit. That you are able to live out a holy life. 
that you are, that you are able to resist from temptations. We always pray for that. With that said, mga kapatid, again, ulitin ko, a true follower of Jesus Christ. Okay, a true follower of Jesus Christ, una, fixes his eyes on the things that are above. His mind on the things that are above. A faithful follower of Jesus Christ conforms to the standard of Jesus Christ. And thirdly, a true follower of Jesus Christ might get tired, but he will never give up because his strength is in the Lord. Let's pray. Father God, maraming salamat aming ama sa iyong kabutihan. Thank you for your love. We thank you for your word tonight, Father. Thank you dahil uh, patuloy ka, Panginoon, na pumapagit na sa amin. Thank you sa iyong presensya. And Lord, each and everyone that is hearing my voice right now, I want you to bless them, Father. I want you to guide them, Almighty God. Please, Lord, guide them. Na patuloy na ang salita mo, ang manahan sa kanilang mga puso, Panginoon. And Lord, na hindi lang kami maniwala sa iyo, Panginoon. Hindi lang... Ikaw yung hindi ka lang hindi ka lang maging ornament sa buhay namin Lord. Hindi ka lang maging motivational speaker sa buhay namin Panginoon, but rather maging buhay ka namin oh Dios. Salamat Panginoon for everything that you have done for us. Thank you for the cross, Father. Thank you for your love, your mercy, and the life that you have given us. Lord, help us to live a life that is uh, fitting as you have called us to be your sons and your daughters. Help us to live a life of holiness. Help us to gaze upon your your beauty and the beauty of eternal life. And Lord, help us to gaze upon the beauty of obeying you each and every day of our life. Sa bawat yapak namin, Panginoon, sa bawat um, lahat ng aming gagawin, O Diyos, Ikaw ang siyang mapapurihan. Ang yung uh, ang yung mukha Panginoon ay mag-reflect sa amin Panginoon may it radiate your 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 life Panginoon sa amin. Na pag nakita kami ng mga tao, they could see that we are living by faith and not by sight. Help us not to settle in temporary things Panginoon. Lord, bumuhayaan na ma-settle kami sa mga temporary love, temporary affection, temporary um, material things. na this world can offer us help us to always remember that your love that your that there is more than this life panginoon to be settled in you alone O lord jesus christ salamat panginoon for this reminder help us to live by faith father every day of our lives wag niyo pong hayaan na kami yung humawak sa inyo bagkus panginoon ikaw yung humawak sa amin And thank you for your promise in Romans chapter 8, verse 38 to 39, that there is nothing that could separate us from the love of God. No death, no demons, no angels, no nothing, Panginoon. Thank you for this promise, Lord. And Lord, sa pansamantala po namin pag uh, even though this is a live video, but Lord, alam ko po na ang iyong kapangyarihan at iyong kamay ay hindi maiksi upang abutin sila. Lord, whatever the desires of their heart, Father, If they are str- someone is struggling financially, emotionally, physically, and um, if someone is struggling for sin, uh, the temptations, the lust, Panginoon, Lord, grant us um, a life that would overcome those. Give us financial breakthrough. Give us healing, Father, para sa mga, sa, sa, sa mga may sakit, Panginoon. Touch their hearts, Father, na mapapurihan ka sa kanilang mga buhay. Help us to be kind to one another. And Lord, kagaya nga ng kanta kanina, Panginoon, continue healing our land, Lord. Continue healing our land. At Lord, help us to get through this pandemic that we are in. For you hold all things together and we know, Panginoon, that it is, this, is your, the, this is one of the part of your sovereign plan for us. We know that uh, there is a uh, good that will come out of this. Even though this is a bad situation, you can turn our mourning into dancing. Maraming salamat, Panginoon. Thank you for your love. Thank you for your sacrifice on the cross, Lord Jesus Christ. Holy Spirit, continue to make this a um, an application to our life. Maging rema ito sa aming mga puso. Tumatak ito sa aming mga kokote, Panginoon, na kung saan we will remember this each and every day of our lives. Thank you, Lord. 
at uh, we praise your name for this night we i thank you for all the people that is here to, uh, that's continuous uh, continuing to support your word father grant them everything that uh, they need father all of their needs thank you lord in the name of our lord jesus christ we pray amen